So I wanted to talk about one of my favorite comic book series lately. Uh, <clears throat> Crossed. If you haven't heard of it, uh, it's pretty cool. It's like uh, post-apocalyptic type stuff. Zombie. But it's kind of like a, a different take on the whole zombie thing. Uh, basically, the inner darkness that, uh, you know, kind of exists in a lot of people. is sort of like drawn out when people get infected. I don't know exactly uh, what caused the infection. I haven't finished the original run of it yet. Uh, getting the trade paperbacks because, you know, trying to get all those singles this late in the game is uh, probably not going to happen. But, um, you know, I guess I can read the back of this first volume. It says, a world like this, it finds a way to damn us all. In the blink of an eye, humanity is lost. The crossed are upon us. Men, women, and children alike fall victim to the mystery infection that makes killers out of parents and rapists out of lovers. Ruthless, berserk, and evil beyond measure, these cackling demons spread their plague across the earth until our species teeters on the brink of final extinction. And it goes on now, a small band of survivors make their cautious way across a deserted America, existing in a state of constant terror, only too aware that death beyond description lurks around almost every corner. They have in common only their determination to survive. But in a world of the crossed, survival has a cost all its own. By story's end, each will discover exactly what they'll do to stay alive. And in a world of monsters, just how easy it is to become inhuman too. There is no hope. There are no heroes. No one is coming to save you. There is only the crossed. And then it says, Extreme Horror by writer Garth Enos, Streets of Glory, The Boys, and Preacher. <coughs> Preacher's pretty badass too. Uh, An artist by Jason Burroughs. Uh, he did Chronicles of Wormwood and Neonomicon and 303. I have not checked out any of those. But, uh, so yeah, here's just a, I guess I can cut to some close-ups of the, the artwork and whatnot. But, um, yeah, so this is the first volume, which was, you know, a few issues written by Garth Enos, which is the series creator and illustrated by Jason Burroughs, right? And then, uh, it goes on, volume two is actually uh, being borrowed by a friend, but I think it's written by the same guy who did volume three, which is David uh, Laffin and Raulo blah, blah, blah. There you go. Those two guys. And um, volume two is, I've read volume one and volume two. Volume two is really different from volume one volume one is kind of like story based on like the good guys and uh it, it's a well-rounded story and whatnot and it has some fucked up shit but volume two just really just <sighs> delves deep into the the crossed basically and how fucked up they can be you know and uh a lot of people complained about that but i i found it interesting because you know I want to know about I want to know about that stuff too not just the good guys typically I always find bad guys more interesting anyway but uh, yeah and here's uh, volume 4 I have uh, all of these downloaded on the uh, comic book uh, digital format or whatever and there's a lot of interesting variants on the covers and whatnot and some are probably a little bit too risky, you know, and probably weren't um, printed too well, which would mean that they're kind of rare, uh, which I'd like to have, but it's still cool. But anyway, that brings me to the main point of that, and that is uh, this new series, Crossed 100. 
and if you check it out it's written by Alan Moore and uh, illustrated by this other guy Gabriel Andrade or something and this uh, this is brand new it just came out in December <clears throat> I didn't even know it existed until I went to the comic book store which I also didn't know existed uh, that uh, yeah so they you know I told them some stuff and then they tell me well Alan Moore is uh, writing a cross series so it's like oh my god <laughs> I, I love Alan Moore's stuff he's a really good writer I don't you know if you haven't heard of him you should probably check out his work he's written all kinds of stuff like spanning decades uh, you know <clears throat> he did some swamp one swamp thing issues and I uh, wrote uh, the, the comic for Vive for Vendetta uh, which is somewhat different than the movie and he wrote uh, Watchmen you might know that one uh, yeah and he's done some really uh, interesting stuff um, with his wife that uh, I'd like to get a hold of which is like some fairy tales um, that are mature <laughs> basically in content sexual and you know like uh, you know they're just kind of coming into their own and whatnot but basically uh, you know you should check out Alan Moore and you should check out Crossed uh, this is basically 100 years in the future after the original outbreak and stuff like that so the infected aren't really like well you know they're kind of like extinct they're kind of like not really around as much and then you know uh, one thing that really stuck out with this that uh, I thought was really cool was um, it's a the, it's a brand new dialect that they used to communicate with each other um, which seemed kind of dumbed down and um, for example like we say uh, well I think uh, blah 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 right well one example that they do is they say um, I skull instead of I think you know so it's interesting to see how humanity evolves after almost complete decimation and how they're trying to rebuild and whatnot and yeah I mean I read this first issue and I was really happy the artwork is really nice obviously and there's a bunch of um, variants already planned out for uh, for this cross 100 series which were handpicked you know and thought out by Alan Moore obviously with Gabriel Andrade uh, I hate that I can't sp pronounce his name but sorry dude oh by the way you should also check out his the the artists um, uh, he also worked on this series series called feral I think and I just did a quick search and like some of the artwork that I saw on that were just bloody and gruesome and awesome so these two guys I mean this is like I mean if you like you know mature gory you know uh, comic books I mean you really should be going and getting this so every issue that comes out I got a little box that's gonna be coming to me so um, yeah there's not too much more I could say about it I showed this in a in a briefly in my shitty pickups video of stuff that I've gotten lately <clears throat> and uh, I just wanted to comment on some of that stuff and you know tell you a little bit about it and whatnot so you know go to the comic book, comic book store and check this out definitely I don't think I mean if, if you like mature gory stuff you should you you won't be disappointed basically and get those trade paperbacks of the old series too it's a good good read and uh, I got a lot more comic book stuff that I'd like to talk about uh, some uh, comic book series called techno priests which uh, I got that coming and uh, but yeah um, some other weird stuff you know some video games and whatnot so yeah that's basically it see you later